hello guys welcome to prof1 youtube channel on this video we are going to learn how to um handle this question yeah how to handle this question so this is a question given to us this is a basic mech question that is um we are going to handle this question very clearly so let's read the question they said i want a 300 newton force is applied at a as shown so you can see a 300 newton force is applied at a now determine a the moment of the 300 newton force about d that is we are creating the moment at d and we determine that and b we should find the smallest force applied at b that creates the same moment about d and c the magnitude and the sense of horizontal force applied at c that creates the same moment at d and d the smallest force applied at c that creates the more what the same moment around what about d so how do you go about this question so what you need to do is that we try resolving this 300 what newton force by one drawing a force so this force we can use principle of transmissibility and when we do that you know that this angle will be vertically opposite to this angle so actually here also will be 25 degrees now we have the angle here so we try resolving this in x and y component so resolving is in x component that is ax we are going to get that is the force since they are all in positive this one you're going to get the force times cos 25 so as will be 300 newton cos 25 which will give you as that is 271.89 newton so we just resolve this force in x component now let's do that for y component with y component that is ay it's moving here and the angle is 25 so we are going to get a y should be what 300 newton sine 25 that is this angle and we are resolving this force which will give you 126.7854 newton so now this thing just help us to solve the question before you solve this question you need to resolve this force thank you let's continue so now we are taking question number a that you are finding you are creating a moment around d so we creating the moment around d you know this force is moving here and we are taking our clockwise or anti-clockwise to be positive so our anti-clockwise is positive so anti-clockwise positive so when we do that we're going to get negative 126.785 newton times 0 0.1 meter how is it done you see this from this distance to d is we've converted it to millimeters so it's 0 0.1 meters and the force is moving from here so we can use principle of transmissibility and it comes here and it is moving in the clockwise direction that's why we had negative since it's moving in the what? clockwise direction we can okay so now we know that let's move on to the x axis we move into the s component it's moving to this way so it will move in at the clockwise that is 271.89 times 0 0.2 meters which will give you 41.7 newton meter so with the uh, movement of the 300 newton force about d will get 41.7 newton meter you can approximate this to 42 newton meter thank you so let's continue now the next question is asking us to find the smallest force applied at b on the same um, moment here so if you've watched my previous video i did a tutorial on this yes so with this we with the smallest force when you talk about the smallest force what you need to know about the smallest force is that the smallest force applied at b will have the longest distance right so it's the same moment you're going to use this moment to solve that but make sure that you find the longest distance at b so what do you do you draw a line that's the longest distance from b to d that is this is the longest distance that's the hypotenuse now after that you find the length of this distance which will help you to find the force since you know the moment from here 41.7 newton meter so let's do that that is b e squared where is b e let's assume here is e so let's put e here i'm putting it there so b e squared plus d e squared will give you what uh b d squared so what you're going to do is we have this side is 0 0.25 uh, 0 0.125 uh the full size is 0.2 meters so it's 0.2 meters and this side is 0.2 meters so you're going to get 
0.2 meter squared plus 0.2 meter squared which is giving you db squared and that's what you get you're going to use uh Pythagorean theorem to do that and you get the answer to be 0.28 meters yes 0.28 meters yes so with this what you need to do it now is as you found the uh the distance that is the r the longest distance you're going to use the formula force is called movement over what the perpendicular distance which will give you 41.7 newton meter over 0 0.2828 meters so when you do that your correct answer will give you 147.45 newton so that is the smallest um force applied at b with the same moment thank you so let's move on to c so with this you need to find the sense because they asked us to find the sense so with the sense this is the sense that is the angle here so we're using the tan ratio to be opposite over adjacent and we have the opposite to be 0 0.2 meters and the adjacent to be 0 0.2 meters which will give you 45 degrees let's continue so that's what we did here so let's move on to the c they said what the magnitude and the sense of the horizontal force applied at c that creates the same moment so this is um, the horizontal force we are trying to find this horizontal force but no this distance the same the same moment so this distance you're going to use this distance it's forming a 90 degree that is a force time perpendicular distance which will give you moment so we are going to use moment is equal to what so we are finding the force which is moment over what the ray uh, perpendicular distance and we are using the same moment so we have this you know the distance already so we are going to we are going to get 41.7 newton meters over 0 0.125 meters which will give you 333.6 newton so that is the answer for that thank you for that so now let's move on to the d but before we move on to the d please if you have not subscribed to my channel please hit the subscription button and uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you so now with d they say the smallest force applied at c that create the same moment about d so with this two is the same principle but now they say it's a c it is a c not what b so we are going to draw a line from c to b and find this hypotenuse that is the longest distance so when you do that correctly as we use this we are going to find d e squared plus c e squared is equal to d c squared so this is d e squared plus c e squared is equal to d c uh d c squared so when you do that the correct way you're going to get 0 0.23584 meters which will give you the distance you're going to work with so now when you come back to your formula that is force is equal to the moment over the perpendicular distance you know the distance already and you know the moment because you are using the moment that is uh, about what d and we've done that here which is um 41.7 newton meters so when we do that we're going to insert that inside and when we do that we're going to get 41.7 newton meters all over 0 0.2358 meters and that will give you 176.8 newton so that is for the force the magnitude or, or the the smallest force applied at c so we need to find the sense with the sense now the angle is here now this is the sense angle so we're using tan ratio we are going to get the opposite which is 0 0.2 meters all over the adjacent which is 0 0.125 meters and that will give you when you do the correct you're going to get 58 point zero that's approximated or you get 57.9 new um, degrees so this is a video on this it's very simple what you need to know is learn how to resolve the force first now note that mostly we work with a force that moves away from the origin so you can see this is moving to the origin so using the principle of transmissibility we can what do that by extending the force and using vertically opposite angles to find the angle here so what we needed was this we needed this also we needed this answer that is the for c and for b this is the answer we needed with the sense which is 45 when in with d we needed this force which is uh 170 this one and the angle this is 57.9 thank you very much for watching this video please as i said subscribe to my 
YouTube channel for more videos. Thank you very much.